the name of this piece on my right is Woof Woof. Woof Woof? Like Woof Woof? Yeah, or Woof Woof. Yeah, depends on, on, on the mood. It's about being back and be kind of empowered again by the iconography and the kind of things that are with me, that have been with me for a long time. After kind of four years of, uh, not of uh, not doing anything, but certainly being uh, taken away from certain aspects of my work because of kind of personal trauma. I mean, I've been working on this since June, but in the last two months it become much more clear what I'm trying to do with this work because in a way I'm more, let's say, independent mentally than I was before. I'm dealing with things which are very much about what is it like, what is it to be alive today, not just as Franco, Franco B. I think this work, this images which are in a way dealing with my archive and my iconic iconography and legacy, I, you know, that kind of have, in, especially in performance history. So this image that obviously depends who looks at, who looks at it, you know. Is it somebody totally stranger to my work or the type of work or the journey I have been doing? Then obviously it's just an image that either they get something out of it or don't, you know. I wanted to be free to make, which is like this kind of abstract, kind of forest stuff, which some people probably wouldn't expect me to make because, you know, they probably think I have uh, lost the plot. But it's okay, you know, which is ironic, you know. This irony, what is acceptable in certain places, what you do. You know, it's like, when I started, there was so much agro and cano, you know, and when I stopped, there was the same cano agro, but from a different cano public. And I was saying, no, you can't stop. You know, no, you're selling out, you're becoming commercial, you know. And when I started, it's like, no, you're crazy, you should be local. Yeah. So there is the bizarre, and I had, you know, like people writing to me and saying, you must as well sell potato now. I used to respect you. And at the end, you realize that really, it's not about them. At the same time, you do deal, you know, you make him work in, 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 not in a vacuum, is in a public, you know, I want the work to be space, to be, to be in a public space, but not a ghetto. And I think I've really became aware is not to allow any type of ghetto to be, you know, to be kind of organized around my work. I still bleed, but not in the way, not in the way maybe that you think is bleeding, because in a way I haven't stopped bleeding. So when people say to me, you don't bleed anymore, I say, well, no, I'm alive, I still bleed. And actually, the funny side of things is when I stitch, I keep pricking my finger all the time, every time I stitch. So you end up, you know, cleaning your finger on the back of the drawing, somehow, but little, you know, smudge. So in a way, it's, you know, this is kind of, to me, it's kind of, it's kind of humorous, you know, because there is more, maybe there's more blood on them than when I used to bleed. For example, here. I left, uh, you know, I, I pricked my finger and I, le and I left it on the drawing, but sometimes I clean it or on the back they will be, but really, because they're about, they're about what is it to be alive in the moment that you do it. They're about blood. You know, where I come from in terms of cultural and political contest when, you know, when I was growing up that in the same way I could, I could make work with sperm for that. I could have made work about wanking, you know, because there was issues around that. There was issues about who owns your body, the state owns your body, you know. Yeah, and it's like this thing that you need to ask permission or to articulate why you're doing certain things to be allowed. Now maybe less, but when I started, it was very difficult, you know. How is it that Franco B bleeds is art and if, if somebody in the bedroom cut themselves or bleed, you know, in a, that is not natural, they, they locked up, you know? So it's an interesting question, you know? It is an interesting question, you know? 
And the reason maybe because I empower myself and because I, because my work is not about self-harm, it's about using, using, you know, appropriating what is mine. And, and this is, again, is go back to the cultural contest period, which is, was the 80s, the paranoia, the phobia around the HIV. I used to donate blood when I was young, and suddenly because of AIDS, I wasn't allowed because I, I said I was homosexual. So this kind of thing. So the moment society didn't want my blood, and I said, well, I use it, it's mine. You don't want it, I will donate it to art, you know? And the, the, maybe the, 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 the difference is that I was lucky. I was in the right moment, right moment, you know, and the right people were listening to me in that moment. And in that moment, the work for some people was important to support, you know, because of their personal political agenda, not my work, you know? But sometimes this thing can work for you or can work against you, you know? <laughs>